Physical and mental preparation go hand in hand. Here, we can train the mind to prepare the body. But it requires deep focus. Let go of your anger, and listen to the sound of my voice. In the heat of battle, remember to not rush. Time your strikes well to build momentum in the fight. Get complacent. You've come so far, Jason. Court of Owls is watching from inside of Gotham's walls. They lurk in every shadow, and they rule you, one and all. You knew we'd find the court. You were just waiting for us to stick our necks out. When I was still part of the League, we observed the court's growth in Gotham. Now you can see the city's rotten core. They're mining something called Dionysium. And it smells like Lazarus pit water to me. A foul substitute for the true miracle. A contaminated extract. For centuries, the court has been looking for a fountain of youth. Instead, they found the makings of undying monsters. Hmm. So they're using Dionysium to make talons, then. What do you know? Hmm. Huh. So why doesn't the League make a deal? Trade the court some green goo in exchange for mindless talon ninjas? <laughs> Even in their current debased state, the League would never descend to such banality. And the court's greed and corruption prevent them from ever mastering the secrets of the Lazarus Pits. <laughs> you turned a chemical reaction into some kind of bullshit holy ritual. Oh, those are some harsh words. That ceremony resurrected you, Jason. I knew it was you, Talia. That pit scrambled my mind, but I'm still a damn good detective. I suppose gratitude was too much to expect in exchange for another stab at life. After all the shit you've done to me, I don't owe you anything. With Bruce gone, the court's operation grows. The League of Shadows will raise Gotham to the ground unless you silence the court. Cut the talking in Riddle's bullshit. You want us to get rid of the voice so the League will leave Gotham alone. 
What's in it for you, though? Hmm? I'll do what I can to distract the League. And your path to the Court of Owls will be clear. Now I know how Montoya feels. Hey, Alfred, did the city records turn up anything? They didn't. According to the city permits, there's been no mining in Gotham City since the cauldron was completed. Judging from what we found last night, they've been digging down there for centuries. Hmm. Give this a listen, Alfred. Babs managed to repair some of the court voice recordings. Dionysium brought the Talons back to life. Sort of. Dionysium's basically weak as hell Lazarus pit water. Brings back motor functions, but free will's as good as gone. So what is a Talon exactly? Some kind of feral zombie assassin? We've all seen weirder shit. Maybe. Feral zombie? Sounds like Jason, all right. I recognize a voice. The older woman is Constance Cobblepot, I'm fairly certain. And the others? More difficult to say. Maybe if I heard them in person. In person? Tim, put the waveforms on the screen. It's hard to find a match with all the damage and voice modulation. Maybe the matching system would have better luck if- We match what we have against the live voices. Fun, but how do we find these jackasses? Two words, Orchard Hotel. The Masquerade, the event of the season. This year's dedicated to Master Bruce. Gotham's rich, dress up, and pretend they're humanitarians. I've been a few times. So it's Dirtbag Central. With so many of Gotham's elite together, security at the Masquerade will be tight. Finding out their plans first would give you an important advantage. I'll tweak our masks to record telescopic audio. If we can get a good vantage point, we may be able to put some faces to these mystery voices. Sounds like our kind of party. We have new clues for the board. I leveraged a mutual acquaintance. The head of security for the Orchard Hotel, Mr. Hendricks, has agreed to a meeting. The details are pinned to the evidence board.
those mask creeps. Guess I'm in the right spot. That can't be. Whoever's out there, I knocked out one guy, but there's more. Over there! <laughs> I had a feeling this day was coming. You wouldn't believe the things that I heard at the hotel. Yeah, the court seems to like their privacy. Shit, they're real? That explains the masks. Look, one of my guys was feeding them info. And you know what? You should probably have all the same intel, too. Hope you got a good therapist. And thanks for the drive. This city is going to the birds, I swear. Belfry, I took care of it. Hendrix handed me a data drive after I saved him. Excellent. Please return to the Belfry so we can evaluate next steps. I can't stay here. I've uploaded the data we got from Hendrix. It should be ready soon. I've seen Bruce make that same face when he got stuck on a case. What's on your mind? Everything starts with Ra's al Ghul attacking Batman, but I, I can't figure out how it connects. 
You've never had to fight the League, have you? Raish is... was a fanatic. He formed the League of Shadows centuries ago, to root out corruption all over the world. His philosophy, if you want to call it that, is that he should destroy things to build them back up. He's wiped out multiple cities over the centuries. He set his sights on Gotham. Batman stopped him. He was impressed. So he named Bruce his heir. That suddenly, even though Bruce said no thanks. But it meant Raish left Gotham alone. That is until he showed up. Bruce. Talia says Raish was behaving erratically when he died. Yeah. I put money on that not being the whole story. Hang on. What if our starting point is earlier? Batman died while he was investigating the Court of Owls. You think Raish found out about it? But why come after his heir? Raish cares about two things. Rooting out corruption and protecting the Lazarus Pits. So if the court was using an extract from the pits to create talents... Raish blows a gasket, steps in himself. Things escalate, both he and Bruce end up dead. And without Batman keeping a lid on Gotham's corruption, the court starts to stretch its wings. The League follows Raish to Gotham, and there's nobody to stop them from attacking the court. Gotham City becomes ground zero for a goddamn war. And no Batman to save it. I guess that's our job now. Yeah. It is. And we know what we need to do. We root out the court. And we keep the League away from Gotham. I really miss him. Excellent. The drive Mr. Hendricks provided us contains exactly what we need. I've set up a safe house for Mr. Hendricks. His original one was compromised, but he'll be all right now. Glad to hear it.
Belfry, I'm in. The court sure found themselves a swanky hangout. Remember to find a safe place to eavesdrop in the ballroom. If security sees you, you're toast. The party's already started in the ballroom. Good thing I remembered my mask. and the guards' comms. Good job. The guards outside the control room were planted there by the courts, so you can punch with impunity. There's someone here! Find them! Get in. Belfry, I'm entering the ballroom. Well done. What do you mean you won't see me? I'm the goddamn mayor. I'm afraid his schedule won't permit it. You tell Colonel Kane that I won't be frozen out. My office demands respect. Of course it does, Mayor Sai. I'll relay your message. Is this all they could muster for the great Bruce Wayne? It's embarrassing. When I go, it'll be a spectacle. Fireworks, dancers, ice sculptors, the works. Did you hear about Langstrom's assistant? He deserved to be let go. Just like Kirk, people forget their place. The voice remembers. Yeah, those match. But where the hell is the voice? I thought I told you that formal wear was required this evening. This is formal wear. Have you been to the hotel's east staircase? The one they sealed off? I hear it's haunted. That's what I heard, too. Strange noises, almost cries, and scratches in the walls. Ugh. Did you sign the guest book? How could I not? I've got people to impress. Did you see some of the names in there? I did. Senators, judges, CEOs, even the mayors here. <laughs> Look at this. Even in death, Wayne tries to outdo us. Let him have his final hurrah. After tonight, it won't be a problem. You're right. His death ought to be a celebration. What do you think this is? Got a few matches. Won't have to listen to these assholes for much longer. Hard to believe Bruce Wayne is gone. Hoping to be a state this year. <laughs> 
was good. Great, even. Who would have thought this would give the rest of us such a kick in the pants? Sorry to interrupt, but it's time. Ah, of course. We'll have to continue this later. Found one. Attention. It is my absolute pleasure to present our host for the evening. Seriously? If that's the voice, he's not even trying to hide it. Thank you all for the warm welcome. But tonight is not about me. We are here to remember one of Gotham's greatest sons, Bruce Wayne. Now, you all knew the Playboy. I knew his charity. A brash defender of Gotham's best. Though he's gone now, Bruce's contributions to this city will be felt for decades to come. This is for you, Bruce. The last of our precious Wayne family. You've helped us in ways you never realized. And may we, the surviving families of Gotham, strive to live up to your inimitable legacy. really him. It's a match for the voice of the court. Stay close to him. We still need to figure out who he is. Sir, the labs are requesting more Dionysium to meet their production deadline. I'm aware. Arrangements are being made. Let them know that I expect the quota to be met. No excuses. Thank you, sir. Pleases the court. Excellent. I'll see you downstairs.
What the hell? The prick got in a secret elevator, then dropped off the radar. Weird. Somehow he went missing when he was between the floors. Red Hood, we just found a hidden 13th floor in the hotel blueprints. Maybe that's where the voice went. Not gonna happen. I don't even know how to play this thing. Next stop, 13th floor. Rich weirdo VIP room. Understood. Tread carefully. Seek. Great. Belfry, got any tips to find the voice? Belfry, you there? Damn it, cut off again. And now, from vinyl right to your eardrums, it's the old voice of the court. See what they were looking at. Just what we need to bring them down for good. But there's still plenty to clean. That's a lot of names. Hold on. All these people are either missing or dead. Kirk Langstrom is on here. Is this a hit list? And how of the court. So long as you remain loyal to the court. History of Gotham's architecture. Was the court involved in construction too? Gotham Cathedral. The 
courthouse. GCPD Central Station. City Hall. Gonna show yourself or what? So you made it here all by yourself. Well, someone had to stop you from destroying Gotham. Destroy Gotham? Now we're trying to save her, preserve her glory. I understand now the potential you could have to do the same. Oh. Power and glory. Hmm. Never had that offer from a weirdo in a mask. The only one hiding behind a mask. Is you, Mr. Todd. Jacob Kane? How? How do you know? I know. Just like I knew my nephew Bruce was out there, keeping the peace in his armored pajamas. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't tell anyone. Call it loyalty to Martha. We all live double lives, trying to shelter the city from chaos. It's just, our court is quieter about it. The people of Gotham will find out you've been playing with their lives. They're not your toys. Yeah, Batman would probably say the same thing in your position. That's why I never told Bruce about the court. We have the same ends. The same enemies. It's madness. You're not serving us. I stopped killing people. <laughs> A difference in tactics, I'll admit. You say you protect Gotham, but you're racking up a body count. Kirk Langstrom, his assistant... Those who betray us will suffer for it. Langstrom betrayed the court. Bruce gave everything to save this city. You fight for yourselves. He would never have supported this. Do not use my nephew against me. I mourn Bruce. I want answers for his death. Just like you. I am nothing like you, Jacob. Understood. I protected Bruce, but I won't protect you. If you won't join us, I'm afraid you'll have to join Langston. Clearly, I have bigger problems right now. Just stay out of my way. You won't like what happens next. Got 
gotta get back to the ballroom ASAP. Bobby, Red Hood has Yeah, here we go. God damn it! These people don't stand a chance against the League! Time to take care of these jerks. at the Orchard Hotel is a new low for the city of Gotham. It is time for the real heroes, the GCPD, to step up 
and restore order in our city. To take it back. Yeesh. Surprisingly, Commissioner Kane isn't a match for any of the voices we collected. Hey! She may not be a court member, but the Commissioner could still be helping them. She did marry Jacob. Catherine is probably not aware of her husband's secret. I know Jacob well, and have never had even the slightest suspicion. Colonel Asshole fooled everyone. Even Bruce. The other people we matched at the ball. John Wycliffe, Isabella Haas, Maria Powers. All killed at the hotel by the league. Colonel Kane's the only member we know survived for sure. And probably old Lady Cobblepot. She's unaccounted for. And the court is clearly much bigger than Jacob Kane and to Constance Cobblepot. The almighty voice was right, you know. No one will believe a nursery rhyme's been pulling Gotham's strings for so long. But people will believe that Jacob Kane conspired to murder Langstrom. We have the evidence to prove it. Let's get this to Detective Montoya. See if it's enough for her to build her case. I'll be sure to include our list of known members, dead or otherwise. We need to be careful about this. Jacob will be waiting for us to try something. Someone should talk to Talia. The court and the League are clearly out to kill each other. And let's be ready when we're caught in between them. We updated the board while you were out. Catherine Kane isn't doing this city any favors. Things are bad enough between the court and the League without the cops stirring them up. Our nights are about to get a lot more complicated. These loads are pretty hot. Are you sure the velocity isn't too high? It'll be fine. Besides, it's not like I'll be shooting anyone who doesn't deserve it. You're at the upper safety limit. That doesn't leave you a lot of margin for error. You've seen the body armor criminals wear. Can't afford to play nice in an arms race. Not all our enemies wear armor. Uh-huh. If you believe these rounds are safe, then prove it. Shoot me. Fine. Maybe they are a little hot. Why don't you crunch your numbers and tell me what the best load should be? Great. Oh, while we're at it, we should look at polymer volume and composition. Decreased velocity will impact expansion, but if we tweak the gel compound, we can make up for it. Huh?